Welcome to the Passion Struck Podcast. My name is John Miles, a former combat veteran and multi-industry CEO turned entrepreneur and human performance expert. Each week we showcase an inspirational person or message that helps you unlock your hidden potential and unleash your creativity and leadership abilities. Thank you for joining us today on the show and let's get igniting. Hi, I am John Miles and welcome to the Passion Struck Podcast. I am so excited for you to join us today. Actress Hilary Swank said, I have this motto, make a choice, make it happen and work every day towards whatever that goal is. Step into the sharp edges. Do something that scares you. Don't pull away and don't overthink. Ever since I heard those words a few months ago, I have been so inspired by them and they played a critical role to forming this podcast today and the slogan that I use for it. Today, I am so excited because I am coming here to you today with the origin episode for this show and why we started it. I have a personal goal to make passion go viral for millions of people all over the planet. And I wanna use this new Passion Struck brand to help do that and this podcast and new YouTube channel play a huge role in doing that. I want to give you both inspirational interviews and messages that will come to you on Tuesdays and Fridays, where we will showcase the hidden steps, inspirational content, and overall tips, knowledge, and skills that you can apply to help you unlock your hidden potential and live the purpose-driven life you've always wanted. And today I'm going to discuss the background for why this podcast came into existence. And I'm gonna go into a little bit of my career. I will do more on a personal origin story that'll come out later this season. And I wanna teach you what I have learned along the way from my time starting out as a combat veteran to transitioning into professional services to going into industry and serving in executive positions, ultimately becoming a C-level in a Fortune 50 company, and then to more recently becoming a multi-industry CEO and how I use the passion struck framework to ignite the potential of those around me in every role that I went into. Thank you so much for listening to this show. And if you love it, I would appreciate you subscribing on iTunes or Spotify, Stitcher, or wherever you listen. And please share it with growth-seeking friends that you have so that they can learn the secrets to unlocking their potential too. And have them share it on their social media accounts and tag us on Instagram at I am passion struck. Thank you so much. And I hope you will enjoy this show and the hundreds of more that will come after it. Let's get igniting your passion today. I want to start the show off with a simple thought exercise in your mind or better yet, on a piece of paper, write down one or two of the biggest dreams, aspirations you have ever wanted to accomplish. I want you to really take your seatbelt off for this one. Really dig deep and think, what is it that you are truly driven about that would make your life just come alive for you? Have it written down. Now I want you to flip over that same piece of paper and write down this question. What is the biggest fear or obstacle that is holding you back from achieving that goal? 
as an entrepreneur, in just a few minutes, I could write down literally countless pages of ideas and thoughts that I have. Things that could not only change my industry and revolutionize the world as we know it, but things that could alter my life for the better. But what is stopping me? It's the shadows that are lurking all around us. That inner voice, those friends, those social pages, that partner, those things that all around us influence the way we react and perform every day. It's those fears, influences, actions that are keeping us away of pursuing what could be a truly purpose-driven life. Are you happy with your life? In other words, are you living what you would consider to be a comfortable existence? It's a simple question and one that we often answer with an intrinsic yes. But I would urge you to dig deeper and go beyond yourself. I was once like you. And by most standards, I was living on the surface what seemed like an amazing life. I had achieved the pinnacles of my career. I had become a multi-industry CEO. Before that, the chief information officer of a Fortune 50 company. Before that, the chief information security officer of another Fortune 50 company. And before that, I had reached the highest levels of a big four consulting firm. I had achieved many awards and recognitions throughout my career that most would die to achieve. And yet, something was missing. As much as it seemed like everything was perfect, it wasn't. Inside, I was living a pinball life that was on autopilot. In the future, I'll do a whole episode on pinball life and pinball leadership. But in an essence, if you're in a pinball machine and you're that ball, you're going around with absolutely no intentionality. The urgent things that are around you cause you to shift and move in almost any direction. And it's only when you can press those two buttons on the side of the machine that you have control. And I think that's what's happening to so many of us today. Like me, we are getting into what I call the portfolio career. We keep taking these different positions and different experiences that on the surface may be okay, but they're not what is truly helping us achieve that goal in life that we want, that dream that you wrote down on the piece of paper when you started this podcast. And I am not alone. There are literally millions around the world who are just like me. And that is why I started this show. Because I believe we are on the cusp, if not in the middle of, not only a national emergency here in the United States, but a global emergency in almost all areas of Western culture. You see, the two forces that made the United States the aspiration of the world, entrepreneurship and business vitality, are dying. Different studies showing very diverse ways of measuring this indicate that this drop started over two decades ago and the decline in both business vitality and entrepreneurship levels 
in the United States and in Western countries not only continues on a steep decline, it's getting worse. National emergency or global emergency may sound stark, but I believe it's an accurate description of what's going on nevertheless. On the off chance that there are fewer and fewer organizations that are being created, what ends up happening is that the talent that goes into these organizations stops being recycled and it starts to just fit in portfolios of larger organizations and doesn't cultivate itself into the meaningful workforce that it could be. This later situation is compounded by the baby boomer generation having to hold on to their jobs for even longer. And that is in some ways brought on by financial necessity and in other ways because our health and life are being extended. And so the desire to want to live longer and work longer is keeping people in their jobs longer. And this is creating less upward movement in many roles that you probably see all around you for my generation, millennials, and Generation Y. An examination distributed in December 2015 by the National Bureau of Economic Research shows that the startup action in the United States has been easing for around 30 years, dropping in the course of the last 10 years. Startups represented 13% of all organizations in the 1980s, yet just about 8% 20 years later. A further Brookings Institute study found that the startup rate, the quantity of new organizations at the level of all organization had fallen in half since 1978. And as I said, the problem is not in the United States alone. In addition to these studies, there are even more on a global basis that are showing this steep decline around the world. While many experts would point to the fact that the student loan debt just in the United States alone is $1.5 trillion. And that because of the student debt, millennials and Generation Z are unable to go after the positions they want because they're stuck in debt. And I'm not discounting that this isn't true, but I don't think it's the primary reason at all for what's going on. I believe the bigger issue is that we're facing an identity crisis. The bigger problem is I feel the American dream and in many cases, the global dream of entrepreneurship is facing an identity crisis. Fewer and fewer people are taking the leap of faith that is necessary to pursue their dreams and to start their own business or take the steps that they need to to go on their passion journey. While technology is the next generation's oxygen and complements the fourth industrial revolution, which is all around us, I believe that the culprits are somewhere else. I think we are facing the culprits of comfort and apathy, the contagions of the mind and the contagion of the human spirit. When things get tough or a new offer or something else is put on the table, instead of going after it with everything inside us, too many of us out here today end up jumping ship just at the point when we should be taking that leap of faith. I believe it's that prevailing attitude which is giving rise to the portfolio career that I talked about earlier 
in this podcast. And that portfolio career is becoming more the norm because of comfort and apathy. Are you ready to overcome your fears and start committing yourself to mastery and growth in your life and career? If you are, we're ready to help. Go to passionstruck.com slash coaching where you can download our ebook, Passion Struck Framework, and apply to be part of our coaching program. Remember, passionstruck.com slash coaching. And now let's get igniting. In essence, what is happening to more and more people is that they can't align their self-identity to that of a growth seeker, of an entrepreneur, of a creator, of a visionary, of someone who can muster the courage and power to do something more, to do something great, to become a mission angler, to become someone who is constantly looking for that mission that drives them inside. More and more, people are failing to ingrain these risk-taking capabilities inside themselves. And the major reason for it is fear. Fear of failure, fear of letting other people down, fear of not being able to achieve the financial success we want, fear of the image that we present, fear of not being able to afford the car we drive, fear of not looking like we should on social media, fear of getting halfway through it and realizing you may fail. Well, as my friend and former colleague, Steve Shirley used to say at our executive team meetings at Lowe's, you must fail fast and fail often. It's something that is all about the agile methodology and something that you can also apply inside through personal agility. You need to face those fears and along the way, you are gonna fail. But through this podcast, I hope to show you by looking at high achievers and giving you inspiring words of wisdom through my own career, ways that you can shortcut those obstacles, those fears, and overcome them. Did you know that the millennial generation has been labeled as the cautious generation? It may be why, and this was absolutely shocking. Did you know that the average age of a startup founder is now 45? It completely blew me away, 45 years old. Yes, you heard that correctly. I believe this higher average is because more and more companies are forcing their employees who are getting up in age out the door, which is causing them to have to reinvent their career. And they're being forced into this position. And it's not an easy one to come into. And at this point in your career, have to reinvent yourself and go after something completely new. I'm not too proud to admit that some of my deepest fears are the reason that it has taken me as long as it has to truly go after my passion. And my goal today with the creation of this podcast is to make passion go viral. I want to help each and every one of you learn how do you unlock your hidden potential and live a life that you want that is filled with purpose where you can unleash your creativity and leadership abilities. That is because the biggest critic we ever face is that person we're looking at in the mirror. It's ourselves. And until you realize that, you're not gonna change. But I wanna introduce you to Stories from high achievers who are literally just like you. They were living, in many cases, a comfortable life. And then something happened to make them change. 
And I want to help and be your guide to helping you face your fears, overcome them, and lead the success that you want in your life. That is why it's so important to understand why do we cower in the face of what could be life-changing opportunity? Why don't we go after that thing that we know is inside of us, what we aspire to want to do? I believe it is those two contagions again, the contagion of the human mind and the contagion of the human spirit. We let comfort and apathy get in the way instead of truly pursuing our life. And in many cases, it starts with these four letters, can't. I can't make time for that. I can't possibly do that on top of what else I'm doing. I can't figure out where to start. I can't let other people down. But by doing all these things and saying can't to life-changing opportunities, you are letting yourself down. And that's what I want to help you change. At the beginning of this show, in the introduction, I talked about Hillary Swank, and I was recently listening to another podcast. And I have to tell you, um, I, before this, didn't know much about Hillary Swank, but as I started to hear her podcast, so much of her life lessons and what she has had to go through to achieve what she has become today stuck with me. And especially the quote that she said, I have this motto, make a choice, make it happen and work hard every single day. Work hard towards whatever that goal is. Step into your sharp edges. Do something every day that scares you. Don't pull away and don't overthink. Hillary Swank's words have stuck with me ever since I first heard them a few months ago, and they are a primary motivational reason for why I started this show, to help you make the choice to work hard, to step into your sharp edges, and to start doing something every day that scares you. But I want to ignite and cultivate that passion journey. I want you to make passion go viral with me. I want you to help cultivate this evolutionary passion struck community and movement where we concentrate on positivity and passion and not the negativity, comfort, and apathy that prevail. I talked about many figures throughout the show today, and I want to summarize that back now. In 1996, future leaders launched 35% of all new businesses, and it dropped to 18% in 2018, and it continues a downward plunge. How do we stop this trend? How do we overcome our fears? How do we start taking the path to executing on a passion journey that can take you to the purpose-driven life that you want? As Hilary Swank said, we have to make a choice, work hard, and step into our sharp edges. And I want to help guide you to do just that. Please listen to us every week on Tuesdays and Fridays. On Tuesdays, I'm going to bring on a high achiever, someone who was once just like you. They were a growth seeker who wanted something more out of their life. And they decided to make that choice to do something greater. They went through the steps that it took to analyze what was 
the brutal reality that they had to confront. And then they worked hard, committed to it, executed it on every day. They stepped into the sharp edges, faced their fears, and overcame them. And on Fridays, I want to go and give you inspirational messages and tips of wisdom from throughout my career. Thank you for helping me make passion go viral. I hope you will subscribe to this podcast and listen to it religiously and that it will help change your life for the better. Thank you. Thank you so much for joining us today. The purpose of our show is to make passion go viral. And we wanna do that by sharing with you the knowledge and skills to help you unlock your hidden potential. If you enjoyed this episode today, please subscribe to the Passion Strike Podcast at iTunes, Spotify, Stitcher, wherever you listen to podcasts at. And if you really enjoyed it, please give it a five-star rating on iTunes and share it with three of your most growth-minded friends and have them post it on their social media accounts as well. That will help us so much in growing the Passion Struck community. If you want to learn more about how you can unlock your potential, go to passionstruck.com where you can join our email list, get valuable tools, and also read the show notes for today's episode. And remember, you can watch and listen to the podcast on Tuesdays and Fridays. Make a choice, work hard, step into your sharp edges. Thank you again for joining the show. Thank you.